Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Let's get more into some beginner guide stuff. Do, 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 do. Here we are talking about none other than what we can get at the moon biome. But without getting into the moon biome too much, because I don't really want to jump the gun, I just want to talk about some of the best items that we can get in DST, and that's none other than avocados. Sorry, I mean stone fruit. Stone fruit is an abundance inside of the actual moon biome. So if you find yourself getting stranded, don't worry. You're going to be able to actually eat a ton of food. Uh, if you have your chance of getting a pickaxe, which essentially with all the resources that are generally on the moon biome, you should be able to make yourself a pickaxe with all the twigs and all the rocks that are there. Once you decide to make yourself a pickaxe, if you have not had a chance to watch my one year in DSD video, feel free to do so. You can then smash up said stone fruit using the pickaxe and out comes none other than the stone fruit, AKA avocados. Avocados are so useful that in my opinion, it's probably one of the best items in the game uh, because I mean, I don't know, at least for me anyways, that's kind of what I think. And I'm going to show you why this, they're so good. Now, I don't know if they'll ever get nerfed or they'll ever get kind of taken away by DST or by Clay, I should say. I keep saying DST because they are such a good item and they obviously count towards veggies, which is interesting because veggies obviously can be used in a million different dishes. You can also use them for filler. I'm not here to talk about all the things that you can do with stone fruits just yet. I want to point out one specific thing. If I talked about everything you can do with stone fruit and how to make them kind of, you know, <laughs> have all the uses, we'll be here for a very long time. But what I want to show you is why you should always cook them and why they are the best items to actually cook in DST because you get them so often from a stone fruit bush that you will never ever run out as long as you're always plucking them when they need to be plucked. Okay. So, a ripe stone fruit will give you 12.5 hunger, zero sanity, but give you 1 HP. So if you want to basically make yourself a little bit more full, for, feel free. Of course, if you want to use them for crock pot dishes or whatever else you want to do, you can do that too. But if you decide to cook them, you will now get 12.5 hunger, but three HP. So that's right. You're going to get a lot of HP just for essentially just cooking a little bit of stone fruit. And let me tell you, this stuff stacks. So essentially by 10, you're going to heal yourself for 30. So let's talk about why this is good and why this is bad, but not necessarily bad at all. If you decide to make yourself a dish, for example, if you are going to make yourself some progies or something that's going to heal you for a lot, using some, some obviously veggies, eggs, you know, the meat and all that other stuff, then you're able to actually make yourself a pierogi. But if you're out by yourself, for example, in the moon biome, and you have nothing there, well, let me tell you, cooking up stone fruit is not a bad choice. I probably would want to make sure that at the same time, you do need a little bit of food. Otherwise, you're essentially just going to use it for healing. But keep in mind, stone fruit, like I said, does come up a ton on a stone fruit bush. So on a stone fruit bush, it's going to produce tons and tons of stone fruit. So don't be weary about actually using it for just healing you, especially if you are running low on meat and other resources. It's not the best form of healing. So I will tell you that. And not to mention it will spoil pretty quickly. So just keep in mind, if you're using this for a kind of like a short burst of, of healing, it's very decent, but of course, only if you absolutely need it. As I mentioned before in the past, there's so many better ways of actually getting types of healing in DST, and sometimes you get lucky and get some butter. But seriously though, honestly, I don't think I would use it too much as healing, but in my opinion, it's a good thing in a pinch. And especially in situations where I have a stack of stone fruit ready to be smashed up, I can quickly cook them up and get myself a little bit of healing, basically by getting 10 or more. And from that, I think it's not bad. It's not a bad thing to cook them up and eat them and get a little bit of, a little bit of HP out of the deal because I think it's not that, doesn't take too much of time to actually get yourself another little bit of stone fruit again. So just keep that in mind. If you think it's a good idea, let me know in the, down in the comments. If you think it's a bad idea, let me know down, down in the comments. But nonetheless, overall, I think it's decent to actually get down and cook them up, especially if you're running low on other resources. As I mentioned, these are very easy to come by, and there's more and more and more to be served at the table. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.